Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm going anywhere. Boost. Peekaboo. <laughs> I'm YouTube famous <laughs> now available in near 2000. The album, Dad, AF, <clears throat> the love album to Jeffree Star. <clears throat> You're all I ever wanted. <laughs> You're all I ever needed. So tell me what to do now, cause I want you back. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Okay, today I'm gonna do a video called something like, I watched Jeffree Star's video, so you didn't have to. Yes, I watched all 31 minutes of this video. Jeffree Star posted this video and it's called something about addressing the, the rumors you don't care about and not talking about anything you want me to talk about and trying makeup that I bought and acted like was sent to me. Okay, so here, let me tell you what the video is called. I watched all of it. I have three pages of notes and some post-it notes. The video is called Addressing Rumors. Hold on a second. It is called Addressing Rumors. What we're not gonna do <laughs> is address any real rumors. Addressing rumors <laughs> about me <laughs> while testing new makeup. That's what it's called. And it currently is sitting at Let's see, 450,000 views in two hours and has 38,000 likes and 7,000 dislikes. So anyway, I watched all 31 minutes and 52 seconds of this video. Ooh, it's a little hot tamales in here today. And let me put on some uh, lip plumper. This is called Extreme Lip Plumper. So that my lips are good and ready to talk about everything. By the way, I did an ultra Ulta haul, end of summer Ulta haul, huge, huge, big, huge, I mean big, Ulta haul <laughs> over my husband and I went to Ulta today after brunch, by the way. Oh, I showed my brunch in my uh, review video. Go over and check my review channel out, Peter Review Stuff, thank you so much. Um, so many people are coming over there and they like are like, I really like this channel, it's so fun, you're so funny over here. I'm having a blast on that channel, so thank you so much. Go over there and check out all the things that I bought. Um, at Ulta, I can tell you that my hands are very, very lotioned from sh trying things from family friendly. Okay, before we get into this video today, I have a few things <laughs> that I like to address. The first thing is, <laughs> while I was taking screenshots <laughs> for my thumbnail today of Jeffree Star's video, I thought it was kind of funny here, I'll throw it up in here, that I was taking screenshots and actually <laughs> it showed the next video that was gonna play. And do you see in the left hand corner, it was Liam McAvoy's new video about Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I thought that was kind of funny actually, that on Jeffree Star's video, the next video recommended was Liam McAvoy's video. So hey Liam, how are you doing? I actually, I think he put the video up yesterday and I haven't watched it yet. Someone, I think that might be an older video actually that uh, came up. But anyway, I wanna say that. The second thing is, I wanna say to all the Jeffree Star fans out there, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming over here and checking me out. I really, really appreciate it. Everybody's welcome. Um, put your short shoes by the door when you come in. And the next thing I wanna say to you is, we have some house rules over here, in case you didn't know. It's like we're just sitting up in the kitchen, okay? And we talk, you know, and is this not so cute? It's like a milk carton, but it's for water. I mean, I got it on Amazon. It was like $9.99. Okay, I got two of them actually. I don't know how much they were. But she can get them larger and smaller and everything. And I fill them up and I take them to the pool. Because I go to the pool like every day now. I'm basically like, oh, I was, I was going to say I'm basically like one of those housewives that just sits around and goes to the pool all day long. And I don't mind it, not one bit. You know when people say like if they won the lottery, they, would quit their they wouldn't quit their job. They'd keep on working like in a factory. That is a lie straight from the pit of hell, okay? I'm telling you right now, if I won the Powerball tomorrow, I don't know, I'd be like, whoo, I'd be so telling some real truths up on the YouTube, I'll tell you that. I'd do me an exit video like you have never seen in your life. If tomorrow, I, you better, there, I'm gonna tell you right now, you better hope I don't ever win the $500 Powerball because I'm gonna make me an exit video like you have never seen. It'll shut down YouTube. Anyway, aren't these so cute? But to all you Jeffree Star fans and stands out there that just like you are diehard Jeffree Star because you love him so much and he's so real and he's, Hi, how you doing? He's so real and authentic and genuine and you love him so much. Welcome, like I said, 
but we have some house rules. Here's the house rule number one. Are you ready? House rule number one is, I'm a drama commentary channel, okay? I make videos about what is currently being discussed on YouTube, within the beauty community specifically most of the time. So if you don't like that and that happens to be Jeffree Star, we also have a back door where you can see yourself out. Don't forget your shoes on the way. Okay, let's get into this video. Um, uh, wait, 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 okay. I wanted to go into this first of all and I wanted to say, some of these people are gonna be so over this. Now, about two weeks ago, I did a little, we, now if you don't know, I have a booktube channel, so I, I read, you know, a lot. One of my favorite books in the, my entire, repertoire of reading, if you want to call it that, is The Lonely Doll by Dara Wright, okay? Now, I did not realize after years of reading this book that this was Jeffree Star's autobiography. Do you see? It's Edith on the front, but don't be confused. It's actually Jeffree Star. Now, I love this book so much. So, a couple weeks ago, I started reading this to kind of explain, like, what Jeffree Star was going through because it's really Jeffree Star's memoir hidden within this book. I didn't know that. I think he has a tattoo maybe somewhere. It's so confusing at this point to find which tattoo is where. I mean, there's John Bonet Ramsey tattoos. I mean, there's just tattoos of all kinds of things in there. Either, I'm sure there's things hidden. It's probably like looking at a dollar bill at this point. So anyway, I'm sure that Edith the, the Lonely Doll is probably in there somewhere. But anyway, I thought it would be maybe like apropos. I love that's one of my favorite words, apropos. I thought maybe it would be apropos to revisit. I'm like, <laughs> I'm on fire today. I thought it might be, hey, how are you? Welcome to drama class. I thought it might be apropos to revisit the lonely doll. Now, in case you're confused, my mother, when I was little, she wrote my name in the book, Mon. Don't be confused. That means don't steal. Okay? Don't be a thief. Okay. Uh, so, we are going to address all the rumors here in a second. Here she is. She's so lonely. In a castle in the sky, she lives in the hidden hills in Calabasas in this ginormous house all by herself that she doesn't need with a few family that apparently she, I don't know, ever interacts with. Once there was a little doll... <laughs> Her name was Jeffree Star. She lived in a nice house and had everything she needed except someone to play with. She was very lonely. There she is, so lonely. Every night she said her prayers, she pleaded, please Satan, please send me some friends. I'll even pay for them and give them Gucci and Louboutin. Every morning when she ate breakfast all by herself and had 15 Red Bulls, she sighed and wished for company smoking one blunt after another. Then one morning, Jeffrey looked into the garden and there stood two bears. The big bear bowed. You must be Jeffrey Star. We're your new friends you paid for. We've come to live with you for a while in the Hidden Hills Castle in the Sky. Can we have some Gucci and Louis Vuitton, please? Uh, Jeffrey clapped his hands with joy. You must have found me because of the ad that I put back in the uh, LA Times, he cried. Mr. Bear gave her had a kindly plat, pat. Oh, you're so confused. And then from then on, Jeffrey was never lonely again. But they weren't really his real friends. Little Bear was right. They did have fun. Of course, uh, Mr. Bear made uh, Jeffree Star and his friends do their lessons every day, which was getting on the Twitter and posting things they didn't want to tweet, and on and on and on. And then they would get into so much trouble. But when they were naughty, Mr. Bear had to scold them because they got too dirty <laughs> or climbed into trouble. <laughs> too high, it says right here. Too high. True story. Or they went away and said they were at home and posted pictures that were from six months before. Anyway, we'll go fast forward to what happens when they get caught because that's the best part right here. Just look at this mess, Mr. Bear said sternly. These things aren't yours and you know you're too young for lipstick, said Jeffree Star. I am not, Jeffrey, said Jeffrey, and I don't care what you say anyway. You're just bored and miserable. So anyway, this is the story of the lonely doll. I love that story so much. Anyway, now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video. And that is my notes right here. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to say is, I watched this video, it was 31 minutes. I, it, for those of you that are like, what did I just watch? It was called comedy, get over it. Okay, um, the first thing I wanted to say is, at the very beginning of the video, he says, let's review some things that I got and were sent to me. He says it like that. And when I first watched it, I assumed that what he was saying was that certain companies had sent him products to review. And I actually thought that was really interesting because I thought, ooh, this will be interesting to see. Like, he'll say, like, oh, so so sent me PR, right? Because he reviews Patrick Starr stuff in there. And I thought, oh, this will be interesting to Patrick Starr because he talks about it at the beginning. I was like, did Patrick Starr actually send him his products? So this will be really interesting to see, right? 
So he goes in there, and when you watch the whole video, he says it at the beginning. Now, I don't know if anybody else felt this way, but when I watched it, it made it sound like people had sent him products to review or try, okay? But when he goes through it, at the beginning, he talks about products that he ordered online, and he talks about Sephora a lot and things like that. So it comes across as nobody sold, sent him these products that he bought all of these products. And I don't know if that's true or not, but that's how it came across to me. It was almost like he wanted to make it seem like people had sent him products when they actually hadn't, okay? So that was the first thing I thought was kind of strange. Um, so uh, anyway, we're, this is my brutally honest, do you remember the brutally honest thing back in the day? I actually made a video about that. Do you remember that? It was like, I can't remember what her name was, that Jordan girl. And she did all those reviews that were like brutally honest review of my makeup. And then Manny MUA, he did one called Brutally Honest, and that was like huge drama. This is the kind of drama from back in the day, you guys, okay? So anyway, and then she went crazy and was like, I can't believe he stole my title! He stole my title! <laughs> Manny was like, next. Okay, so anyway, let's get this video. So first, Jeffrey says, a lot, there's a lot of negativity being thrown my way. What is so interesting about that, okay, is that in his... A little apology video or whatever that crap was that he put out there in the world and thought that it was like his door opening to coming back and releasing products and videos. Um, did he not say in there that he wanted people to hold him accountable? That that was how you grew and things like that? So to say that there's a lot of negativity thrown his way, and he actually says in there and he beeps it out, but it's really harsh things that he's saying that people are saying to him, okay? Now, I do take issue with anybody, and I have received those exact same messages from people. Oh, and by the way, Jeffree Star, I've received those messages that you beeped out on your video from your stands coming to me because I talk about you and critique you because you refuse to be honest about things and you refuse to address your past. So your fans say the same thing to me. So, if you have an issue with all that negativity, maybe you ought to address it in your own camp, okay, before coming for everybody else. Because you can't make a Jeffree Star video without Jeffree Star stands coming and telling you what you should do to yourself and calling you certain names and all of that. That's his fan group over there, okay? So anyway, but it was interesting to me because he said all this and it's like, well, is there a difference to you between somebody coming and being like super like negative and saying those things? Because I'm never for that, right? Like I'm never for somebody that would tell you to like, I mean, there's no, there's no excuse for somebody telling somebody else that, right? I don't like that, okay? Do you guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch this video. Basically telling you to, you know, like hurt yourself kind of thing, okay? But he says this and he goes, negativity, bye, like that, okay? We're done with it. So it's like, this is where he ends it and says like, I'm not addressing anything from my past because what he equals the past is negativity. But what about all the people that are actually old fans of yours or are still fans of yours or people who just want to know why you're refusing to address all of these issues that you have lied about and things you've never addressed because people are like, oh, well, he's addressed everything. No, he has not. I mean, I could sit here and make a list of 20 things and maybe I'll make that video of that he hasn't addressed, you know? There's a lot of things that are still problematic. There's allegations that have come out about him of behaviors just in the last six months that what he has said is these people were never my friends. Well, you traveled with them, you hung out with them, you bought them things. At that time, there were direct messages going back and forth that said that you were friends with them, so obviously you were friends with them. Jeffree Star's way of dealing with things is that when anybody comes for him and tells some truths on him, he just goes, that person is a liar, they're bored, they're miserable, and we were never friends to begin with. Basically just saying, be gone. I'm not gonna deal with this. Drop, somebody drop a house on you kind of thing from the Wizard of Oz, right? Like he just out of sight, out of mind. Well, that doesn't really work in the real world, but I do think that that works in Jeffree Star's world because I think he is surrounded by yes men. So all he just says is, whoop, that, that person was never a friend of mine. But you know, it's not really working anymore. I was actually watching, well, what was the next thing I was gonna say before I get into that? Um, uh, and then he says at the end of it, this is the beginning of his intro, you know, if you need to do all this, drag me. And I'm like, drag you or hold you accountable? Like, that's different. There's a difference to me in that. Like, you know, like, it's not just about dragging you. Like, it's about, like, that's, I, I'm not saying that I, you know, haven't, like, 
poked fun and all that kind of stuff. But there's a difference between holding somebody accountable and dragging them. You know what I mean? Um, he's like, but if you want to do that, do that. So, okay. So you want us to hold you accountable? This is the second video that you've said, hold you accountable. But now you're calling it dragging you. So you're backtracking. Okay. So what you said in that video means absolutely nothing. What you said in the video on that gold couch about hold me accountable and I've changed and I've grown and all this. No, it, it means absolutely nothing. Because now what you're saying is that the people that held you accountable are dragging you. That the people that are asking for answers to things are just pushing negativity towards you that they're running a false narrative so anyway you know i want to say this so and this is just my perspective okay i have watched jeffrey star for three or four years now i listened to his music before that i did like his music before that and you know what's interesting to me is that the uprise of jeffrey star like getting you know bigger and bigger and like you know like buying all these products constantly these high-end things like louis vuitton bags and don't get me wrong i love that stuff i love to look at it i think it's fascinating i like high-end luxury items as well right but like he a is so problematic that it's like so kind of like it's hard to even watch anymore because he just is kind of like, it's such a facade. He just is, it's kind of sad, honestly. Like when, what I feel like when I'm watching him, it's kind of like, do you, like he seems kind of even awkward in this video. I was like, do you even really kind of like believe this whole persona that you put on this kind of like, this fake, I mean, it's so fake. Like it's not genuine at all. Like if that's who he is as a real person, like when's the real moment? When's the real moment with you when you're just a real person sitting there? Was it the other video? Like when is it? Because you were like there, that was affected. You were affected in that video too. Like it's constant. Like there's just, there's no real moment with him, right? And it's very sad. And it's like at this point, he has every car he could possibly have. He has the most amazing house in the entire world. He really has no real relationships in his life that we can see, okay? He said he's hanging out with somebody, but he's not dating anybody. We don't see any real relationships in his life. He's obsessed with money, and that's it. I mean, it's constantly like Versace, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. That's it. That's all he cares about, you know, and just releasing new products. And I was watching this video, and I thought, you're so uninteresting anymore. Like, you're boring to me. Like, you really, I'm, I, like, I'm bored of you. And then the people will come in here, welcome again, hello, Jeffree Star stands, and they'll say, well, if you're bored of him, why do you watch him? Because I'm a drama commentary channel, okay? I'm watching the video for you, so you don't have to. But anyway, you know, so many people, I got a message yesterday, and somebody said, Peter speaks so fast, but so clear, and I can understand what he says, and he's helping me learn, they were from Brazil, and they were like, I don't know these people he talks about, but he's really helping me speak English, and I love that. I was like, that is the best comment in the entire world so anyway um but i was like it's kind of sad like you know like where does he go from here he just continues to make makeup and i don't know i mean he's in his mid-30s he doesn't seem to like there's not really i don't see him like he doesn't like go and do a whole lot you know so, i don't know it's just kind of sad i mean it, i'm not i don't feel bad for him i'm just like that's what you traded out like you traded out like at the end of your life no matter what anybody thinks okay you're not going to look back. And I've been next to people at the end of their life. I was next to my mother when she passed away. I was holding her hand, okay? I've been near other people when they, at the end of the, in, when they were at the end of their lives. I can tell you at the end of your life, you're not looking at how many Louis Vuitton and Gucci bags you've had. You're not looking at how many, you know, Ferraris or Lamborghinis you paid in pink, right? Or how many private jets you flew around the world. You're going to look at the moments that you spent with people, those priceless moments of laughing in a car with your best friend, having a fountain Coke, right? Or, you know, crying with your mom or, you know, just having a moment with a pet that you'll never forget. Those are the moments that you remember at the end of your life. The rest of this isn't going to matter, you know? So you've traded all of that off. And for so long, it's like he's the Pied Piper leading people to believe that this is important. But in raw reality, it's very, very sad. It's a sad illusion is what it is. So anyway... The next thing he goes in, he starts addressing some of the rumors, and he says, all these photoshopped DMs of SHI Toot I never said. What he's talking about, and I've been sent these, and I didn't talk about him in a video. because I'll talk about him now since he brought him up. I didn't talk about him in a video because I really, I didn't know if there was any truth to it. They've been, somebody put him in a TikTok. I mean, when they end up in a TikTok, I mean, James Charles is of the TikTok. When they end up in a TikTok, I don't really believe him. You know what I mean? But there's all these DMs going around supposedly that he cussed somebody out. Somebody DM'd him and said that they were from Montana or Wyoming or something and said, please don't um, move here because when you move here, everybody from Hollywood will come here and he called them all kinds of names and cussed them out okay it doesn't it sounds like something that Jeffree Star would say but like I took it with a grain of salt because in all honesty like only like two people sent it to me 
I will tell you when I was watching this, I was kind of like, I wonder if Jeffree Star put that out there though. Like, I mean, hypothetically, you know, conspiracy speculations all alleged because like all the things he addressed in this video were almost kind of like distraction tactics, like deflection tactics. Cause they were like all the rumors he addressed were like other than the grandma thing were things that like I could care less about. Like they're not interesting to me. Right. And they definitely weren't drama stories that any major drama channels were really talking about at any point, you know, except for, I will tell you one thing that they did. So then he said the Photoshop police report. So there's a Photoshopped police report going around that somebody supposedly paid and requested for the public police report um, of the, the theft. Now, I think that that is public record. So somebody could get that. Okay. I've been watching. I'll be, now, y'all know I have a true crime book club. I do. I don't come for me because I have a true crime book club. But I've been watching I'll Be Gone in the Dark um, about Michelle McNamara. She wrote the book I'll Be Gone in the Dark, One Woman's Obsessive Search for the Golden State Killer. Well, in it, there's a lot of citizen detectives. And it's one woman. She's fantastic. And she orders, like, the whole police record on all of these, like, things that happened, like, in the 70s. And they release them to her. Like, a lot of things are public record. His his theft may be public record and that's what it looked like when it was sent to me but the police record did not look like any police record i had ever seen before so i didn't make a video about it because i was like if i can't fact check it and i it, I, I don't have it myself i'm not going to talk about it but that really did go around and people are saying that it's real i don't know and on there it says that only ten thousand dollars were stolen of jeffree star cosmetics so i don't know what that's about but he's saying that it was photoshopped and that it was thirty thousand units and it was a million dollars and all that kind of stuff so i don't know i don't know i don't care but what I do think is this, is that he goes into this whole thing at the next thing and he says, you know, he goes, I know what this is all about. He said, people are bored and miserable and just want to make up SHI toot all day long. So here we are again, okay, with the excuse that when anybody has any issue with Jeffree Star, it's because they're bored and miserable. He has used this excuse. I mean, he, it's like... He doesn't realize how ridiculous it sounds. He used it in the Instagram story when he said that all these people are not his friends. And he goes, I know that people are just doing this because they're bored. They're bored. It's always people are bored. Okay. Well, I would rather be at the pool today. Okay. And I was going to actually put my haul video over here. Trust. I didn't want to watch a 31 minute video about Jeffree Star, but I knew everybody was talking about it. So I was going to make it. Okay. Cause I'm a drama commentary channel. That's what I do, okay? But trust, I would love to be in the pool right now. So when he says people are bored, no, it's not about people just sitting around being bored. I don't, I cannot imagine, you know, like that's when like people say that like, oh, like, like teenagers and young adults get in trouble just to uh, upset and hurt their parents. I never did that. Like I never got in trouble when I was in high school because I wanted to piss off my parents. That was never it, okay? I got in trouble because I wasn't good and I, I, I wasn't good at like, <laughs> staying out of trouble and I always got caught. That's what it was about, okay? And because me and my friends were running around doing things we shouldn't be doing. That's what it was about. So it's like when he says people are bored, like it's like people are just sitting around being like, dun, 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 dun. what should we do today? Oh, let's concoct a story about Jeffree Star. Should we do it about James Charles? Nah. Should we do it about Shane Dawson? Who'd care? How about Nikki Tutorials? No, not her. Jacqueline Hill? Who'd care? Oh, Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star, let's concoct. Come on. Like, you're the one. I mean, like, that's, I mean, that's almost kind of bizarre that you think that, that you think people are so bored that they sit around and concoct stories about you. Like it's, it's weird really, honestly. And it's actually rather self-centered and self-consumed that you think that. So anyway, the next thing <laughs> moving on is that he said that, um, oh, and I wanted to say about that, that I think that people are actually more concerned about his past the things that he hasn't addressed from his past. Like, for example, him saying that picture, you know, that he hated and he didn't want anything to do with. That was also on his Instagram where he was standing next to it in an art gallery. Oh, the same picture that was on the prom night video that is still up on Jeffree Star Vivo. That picture that he said that he didn't want anything to do with. Like, addressing lies like that, okay? Because he doesn't address those things. He just acts like they know, who, what? People don't care about these rumors you address in this video. This was all deflection to get off of what people really want to know. And people are really concerned with those things. But you want to address those things. People don't care. People don't care about the police report. I didn't care about the police report. When I saw it come up, I thought, because he said in there, I can't believe people are talking about it a year later. I thought, I can't believe people are talking about it a year later either. Who care? Oh, but by the way, since you brought it up, what did happen with that? Did you do an investigation? Did you find out who did it? Because you said, we're going to find out who did this. 
You know, did you bring on Tiger Ski? You didn't tell us anything what happened. That was such a huge story for you, but you didn't tell us ever what happened with that. There was no resolution to it. So I don't know what happened with that. And then he said, this was the best, all right? Take my advice and learn from me. So this is what I learned from you, Jeffree Star. I took notes on it, okay? This is the lesson for the day per Jeffree Star. Don't take accountability for anything and blame it on people being bored and miserable. That's what you do, <laughs> okay? You don't take accountability for anything, okay? You sit up in your pool in a Versace thong and take pictures of yourself by yourself and throw them up on, or whatever friend you ask to come over for the day that you buy them some stuff. And then you put them up on in their Instagram, not yours, their Instagram, have them post it. Oh, post this picture. Po Cole Car Carrigan, post this picture. Cole Kerrigan posts his picture. I mean, it is like over there, it's like a cast list of the D-list celebrities running through his house right now. It's sad, okay? So anyway, Cole Kerrigan, is he a real makeup artist? Okay, so he's over there and he's, anyway, enough of that. So anyway, he's having all these people, Oscar Wilde and all these other people posting pictures on their Instagrams, okay? Looking like he's like, but he won't post it on his. Okay, then the next thing that I wanted to address was the Patrick Starr thing. Um, I was really surprised. Actually, I was really surprised about the whole video because Jeffrey is really kind of hard on a lot of makeup brands and um, he was like very complimentary of most of these brands. I was really surprised and all like what he liked and what he didn't like and all this kind of stuff. Um, what was interesting to me about Patrick Starr is that like Patrick Starr is not somebody that he has ever really much interacted with. I haven't really seen him do a whole lot of things. I was under the impression they didn't get along, but I could be completely wrong about that. Um, I don't know. I just, I was under the impression that they didn't get along. So anyway, I was surprised because he was very complimentary of Patrick Starr at the beginning of talking about it. And he was really fair, I thought, in talking about Patrick Starr's products and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, then the next thing is he went in and he started talking about addressing these rumors. He's like, should I address some more rumors? I was like, oh, please do. What could they possibly be with three minutes left in the video? And he said something about he's sent currently single. Okay. And because um, nobody's willing to sign an NDA is probably probably why <laughs> and that he is hanging out with somebody but he would but uh it, it, it doesn't know what it is i'm like okay um so anyway get people wondering who that could possibly be it's nobody who'd care anyway and then he goes in and he addresses the grandma thing and i was like perk <laughs> that like <laughs> Hey, B. Lee, B. Lucille, how you perking? Hope you perking good. I love B. Lucille, the psychic tarot card reader of the world. Oh my God. And she starts all of her videos and she's like, how you perking? Hope you perking good. I love her so much. Anyway, she sent me a message not too long ago because you know my leg and my back and stuff. And my leg, my back, my, oh no, family problem. And she said, I hope you're perking good. And I was like, oh, maybe my day. So anyway, he addresses his grandma Mary and he said she's 103. And he said he said in a video that like my 100 year old grandma and so then people think that she's like made up because like one day she was 100 then the next day she was 103 and et cetera. You know, I can understand, I, I will say this. I can't understand that like in a video he was just like, yeah, my 100 year old grandma, even if she was like 105 and said like my 100 year old, okay, maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. I don't care about the 100 year old grandma thing. He said nobody thinks she's real and he's laughing about it and all kind of stuff. Do I think that grandma Mary is real and it, he said where she lives? Yes, I think Grandma Mary is real. Do I think Grandma Mary is 103? Yeah, I think she probably is 103. Do I think that um, she doesn't want to be in the public eye? Yeah, probably. I would probably agree with that. He said in there that she hasn't left her home except once in a very controlled environment. But he didn't say that that was his jet to take her to her home that she grew up in, that that was what she wanted to do. Remember he said that? And he didn't address the fact that he posted a picture in July saying he was taking his grandma somewhere when the picture was actually from January. That's the issue that I have. I don't really care about grandma, okay? That kind of, to me, is like funny drama, but I wish her all the best. I mean, 103, that's amazing. Can you imagine living to be 103 years old? Um, so I think that that's amazing. Happy birthday, grandma. He said her birthday was in July, and he said, please don't try to find her. And I think, hey, don't be going knocking on her door. You didn't want to go knocking on my grandma's door when she was alive, because my grandma had gone to prison. True story for embezzlement. She was an OG. Okay. So anyway, do I believe all that? Yeah, but he didn't address what was the important issue, that he shut off the comments, okay, on the picture, and he didn't say anything about the fact that the picture was from January. So it looked like he lied about the whole thing. That was the issue that people had, Jeffrey. Not the fact that you're making up this thing about your grandma or that she's not 103. 
that's the issue, right? So it was just like all of that. It was just this deflection and people are bored and people are miserable and blah. Oh, people just sit around all day long and they're consumed. How can you just, I can't imagine just being consumed with me all, I just give me a break. It's just too much. So anyway, there you go. I watched the video so you didn't have to. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.